what you are seeing now are article particles. The article particles are very spherical and the particle size is also uniformly like this. Next, the particles, it looks very smooth. Uh, next, this is Bellafil. It's almost hard to distinguish them by appearance. Uh, the difference between article and Bellafil is the quality of collagen containing it is a bit better than what article company claims. They claim to have used clean Australian beef. Anyway, article is currently being made in Europe and imported domestically. Belafin made in the United States is used only domestically and abroad. Imports are no longer possible in the country. This one is a Belafil particle. It's article particles. Let's compare which one looks smoother and prettier. Looks like it's time to remove this lane. You are looking at an articular particle. Just focus on the articular particle. These are particles of Bellafil at the same magnification. Overall, it feels like article particles are a bit smoother than those of Bellafil. They exist, but after all, the official concentration, the ingredient name is the same. Right now, behind me, these small particles are swirling around like little bubbles and such. You don't need to worry about this. Many people feel a bit of resistance towards uh, semi-permanent fillers. When you actually use it, things like clumping, hardly any inflammation folks, even with Sculptra. There is a lot of talk, right? But from my over 10 years of experience, it's a very safe product. There might be minor clumping. There are no serious side effects. In the case of Elakil, I have been experiencing things like oil accumulation, yet people continue to seek it because there's a necessary part that requires it in a way if the price is right, I think Artecol could be a really good product that surpasses balance. I just put a cannula on the left. Next, I insert a syringe right away. I'll take out the second syringe and place it on the right cheek. When doing this self-treatment, uh, the nasolabial folds are difficult to relax. The reason I chose Artecol is because it lasts long. This part has dipped a bit, hasn't it? This area is smooth because I filled it in last time, but this part has dipped slightly. We have moved from using Belapi to Artcol. It contains the same ingredients, but is referred to as 4th generation PMM. It's a product of very high quality. Uh, initially, the developer in Europe continued to advance it through the 3rd and 4th generations. It's Artcol. It's currently marketed as AdSense. But it's actually art cold. The price itself is much more expensive than Elance Sculpture. I also want to inject more than 10C into my face right now, but I can't do that. I have used three attackers so far. Mm. I adjusted the jawline that was slightly collapsing. Next, we need to work on the nasolabial folds and the front cheeks. Today, I plan to focus on the jawline and nasolabial folds of Marion. Tasting soy sauce. Then, wouldn't it be economically burdensome if you use too much all at once? So, I'll use just two more. Adding volume here can be quite challenging. I have a lot of collagen inside. That's why it's not easy to do because it's stiff inside. Not at all. 22 cubic centimeters went in, and the difference is significant. There's a bit left, so I'll do some here. The nose is always a part I'm greedy about. 